I'm going to do an, an Easter basket arrangement. But of course, I can't just use an Easter basket. So this is um, ruscus, long stem ruscus. I just tied it together. And then you've got this perfect little basket. It's real. Yeah, this has been very popular for wedding work. How are you securing them? Oh, it's just in, uh, there's floral foam in here, a large block of foam. Okay. And I've secured it with some tape. And this just goes into the sides of the foam and it creates a nice round. Sometimes I've done this with flowering branches and if it's not very round, it's like too pointy, there's a trick. What you could do is you could put like a wire here, like a very uh, invisible wire or fish line, tie it here, tie it to a pick, poke it into the foam, and that way you could kind of adjust how, oh, how your circle looks. This one was very, very easy to work with. It made a very nice circle. But I've done them with like flowering branches and then sometimes you get sort of more egg shaped and then you could just fake it. just doing a lot of really pretty um, spring flowers. I'm going to first put in the peony tulips. When I'm doing an arrangement, usually I put in the fleshy stems first because they're harder to put in if the foam is full. Maybe you could show them what she's got, what she's talking about. Oh, the foam? Yeah. It's just Oasis. Yeah, it's just Oasis. Um, I cut it from something called Design Blocks. Design Blocks are larger pieces of Oasis that we use for large arrangements so they don't break apart. And they're like a stiffer. More secure. More secure, yeah. I love the art. It's like a basket handle. In so it looks like it's growing. Now I'm going to do the ranunculus because that's another fleshy stemmed flower. It's taller, so I'm going to put it in towards the back. Rose called Kahala. So I just added some peachy colored roses there. This is the butterfly ranunculus. So pretty, right?
this in butterfly ranunculus with the roses because the roses are very tight, you know, this cluster, and this just makes it look a little bit more gardeny. And it's the same color, so I think it just kind of extends it. Did you open them, or that's their natural opening? They're natural like that. They, some are were in buds. They'll probably open. Are you talking about the ranunculus? Yeah. yeah. I think that's what makes them they look like look butterfly. So, like, I know they're so pretty. Yeah. This was one of the most ma expensive materials we bought. I'm sure. Yeah, it's they're like Italian. I think it's like twenty-eight dollars for a bunch. But they're Italian, of, aren't they? You know, little wildflower-looking things, right? Yeah. For a pop of that vibrant blue. Anemone. I'll turn around so you can see. I'm doing it so that they look like they're growing, you know, like there's a cluster here, a cluster there. Because I think spring flowers kind of lend themselves to that. This is lavender stock. So pretty, right? This icy lavender color. What I'm doing is visually balancing this side with this side, but with different materials. These are the local field grown ones. They're like just so hardy and beautiful right now. Are they easy to grow? You know, I haven't grown them, but I think so. Because when I go walking in my neighborhood, I see people who planted freesia bulbs forever ago, and then every year they come up. Does anyone here grow freesias? They're very fragrant. They're like a peppery, light fragrance. Yeah. These are shorter pieces of that ruscus. Oh. Ruscus. Is this Italian or Israeli? I always get the two mixed up. Does it grow like a real tall shrub? Or is it you know, I bought some online. It was really expensive. It was like. $25 for a little tiny plant, mail order, and they don't grow. They grow so slow. They are a drought tolerant shade plant. It's in the lily family, so you can't really propagate it. Um, so I, I just bought it. But it doesn't grow very well. I have it in a container for a couple years. It's barely grown.
Probably why it's so expensive. Does Monica on our panel know anything about this? I do not. I was just looking it up. Oh, yeah. Can grow it or not? You can grow it. They, oh, I have it in a pot. I don't know if it'll do better in the um, ground. But it's uh, shade loving, drought tolerant. I'm like, well, that's great, right? But um, it seems real hardy too. It is so hardy. You buy for weddings. They're great for corsages and boutonnieres because they'll be, they'll look like this out of water for like three days. Yeah, that's what they're tough. Yeah, real tough. What's the name of that plant again? Ruscus. R U S C U S. There's two kinds: Israeli and. Uh, Italian. I think this is Italian. I always get the two mixed up. He is, right, and the other one um, has uh, like much bigger leaves, and it doesn't doesn't have such long stems. So this is a one-sided arrangement. So the back, I'm just filling in with some hydrangeas and greenery. I, I don't remember. I believe this is, a, is Italian. I'm not positive. Let me put the bunny in. Oh. 